King Khalid International Airport Arabic, Emtar al Mulk called Aldli Matar al Malik Khalid al Duli, IATA, RA, ICAO, OERK is located 35 km 22 miles north of Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, designed by the architectural firm HOK, an Arabian Bechtel Company Limited served as the construction manager on behalf of the Saudi government. This airport consists of five passenger terminals only three of which are in use, with eight aero bridges each, a mosque, covered and uncovered car parking for 11,600 vehicles, an additional royal terminal for the kingdom's guests, government heads, and Saudi royal family use, a central control tower one of the world's tallest, and two parallel runways, which are each 4,260 meters feet long. The land area allocated for this airport is among the largest, second largest after King Thad International Airport in the world. This airport was an alternative landing site for NASA's space shuttle. Topic: History. King Khalid International Airport (KKIA) opened for operations in late 1983. Until then, what is now Riyadh Air Base served commercial flights to and from Riyadh. Increased international and local air transport requirements for Riyadh made the change necessary. Riyadh Air Base, which is much closer to the city centre, is operated by the Royal Saudi Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> Structure and facilities Topic Terminals Topic Passenger Terminals There are five main passenger terminals at the airport, four of them were built when the airport started operation in 1982, and Terminal 5 was opened in 2016. Terminal 1 is used for all international flights except those operated by Saudia, Air France, and Middle East Airlines, which are SkyTeam members and Flynas. Terminal 2 is used by all international flights for SkyTeam members, including Saudia, and Flynas. Terminal 3 is closed for renovations. It was used to service all Saudia and Flynas domestic flights until Terminal 5 was started operation. Terminal 4 is unused, having never been utilized since construction, and remains without air bridges. Now it is under development which will last for five years. Terminal 5 is the newest terminal opened in 2016, which is now used by Saudia and Flynas for domestic flights. Terminal 6 is the Hajj operators for Hajj Airliner which is Garuda Indonesia, Lion Air and Saudia. Terminal 7 is used for royals, diplomats and people of international importance. Point 1 to 4 were built when the airport was opened in November, 1983. They are connected to each other by means of three linking buildings, these buildings are 168 meters 551 feet long. Each terminal is triangularly shaped, it has a triangular base of 47,500 square meters 511,000 square feet area. The complex includes a modern VIP's terminal plus restaurants, cafeterias, airlines offices, government departments, hotels and rent-a-car companies counters, banks, first aid clinics and commercial shops. Terminal 5 is a 106,500 square meters 1,146,000 square feet rectangular building which can serve 16 narrow body or 8 wide body aircraft. Operated by Irish airport operator Dublin Airport Authority, it is Saudi's first privately run airport terminal and can handle 12 million passengers per year. The Royal Terminal Heads of state and other high-ranking VIP visitors to the kingdom are greeted in the Royal Pavilion. The Royal Pavilion has open spaces, garden areas, and fountains. A ceremonial hall 12.5 meters 41 feet wide and 390 meters 1280 feet long connects it to the mosque. The design and geometry of the building are similar to those of the other terminals architecturally and in the aesthetic respect. Arriving guests can use either air bridges or escalators to enter the building from the aircraft parking area. The ceremonial area on the airside has space for special receptions involving honor guards and bands. 
Like the passenger terminals, the Royal Pavilion has a triangular plan, with a roof composed of 33 arched sections rising to a high point 30 metres 98 feet above the ground level. Glass walls and windows illuminate the interior of the building. <laughs> General Aviation Terminal A general aviation complex has been constructed north of runway number 1 for use by private aircraft and is reached by a special access road which runs north from the airport access highway. The general aviation facility includes a passenger terminal, aircraft parking and maintenance facilities, taxiways and parking for visitors, tenants and staff. In addition to privately owned aircraft, this facility accommodates Saudi's special flight services group. It's also home to Al Salam Aircraft Company, Ltd. Programmed Depot Maintenance PDM on Royal Saudi Air Force aircraft is performed at the uniquely designed facility. <laughs> <laughs> Runways and aprons Topic Air Traffic Control Tower Centrally located in the passenger terminal complex, between the Royal Pavilion and the mosque is the Air Traffic Control Tower standing at 81 meters 266 feet high. TWR Freak, 118.6 E and 118.8 W. GND 121.6. CD 121.8, Riyadh Department 120.0 Riyadh Approach 126.0 There are 19 separate floor levels in the tower, including the operations area at the base of the tower and a total of 1,230 square meters 13,200 square feet of floor space. Six of the 19 floors are considered main floors. These include the operational level at the base of the tower, two equipment floors, an observation floor, a service floor and the cab floor at the top of the tower from which the air traffic controllers overlook the entire airport. The operations floor houses the radar control center for the airport as well as conference rooms, offices and a training area. The two equipment level contain mechanical and electrical equipment and cables, and the service floor contains a kitchen, lounge and lavatories for personnel on duty in the cab. The cab itself contains controller operating positions and electronic and communications equipment. The tower is supplied with two sources of standby power should the regular source of power be interrupted. One source is the standby power supply at the central power plant, three diesel engine generators. In addition, a 300 kW diesel engine located in the tower itself can provide a secondary source of emergency power. The tower is outfitted with the most advanced electronic radar systems and data processing equipment available. Topic: Inter-terminal connectivity. Passengers going from one terminal to another at King Khalid International Airport can utilize moving sidewalks for transportation. The moving walkways, the first to be installed at any Saudi airport, are located in the three link buildings that connect the international and domestic terminals. There is a total of 1,196 meters 3 feet of the walkways, which are actually wide conveyor belts which operate at floor level and move at a speed of close to 1 meter per second 2.2 miles per hour. Additional passenger conveniences in the terminal complex include 80 elevators and escalators. In the parking garages, 16 escalators are provided, and two serve the mosque. The elevators, escalators and moving walkways all have the latest safety equipment installed. Should a fire occur, the elevators would automatically be recalled to the main floors and the doors open. The escalators and moving sidewalks are equipped with fire and smoke detectors which will cause them to stop automatically should a fire be detected. Topic. Airbridges KKIA was the first airport in the kingdom to install airbridges, to speed up handling and turnaround times. Each terminal has eight gates with airbridges effectively eliminating the need for bus journeys between the terminal buildings and waiting aircraft. Topic. The mosque The design of KKIA Mosque is one of the most distinct landmarks in the airport by virtue of its Islamic architecture. 
It can accommodate 5,000 worshippers inside and another 5,000 in the plaza outside. Its location in the center of the passenger terminal establishes it as the most important structure on the airport and makes it the first sight visitors see as they leave the arrival area. The dome is 33 meters 108 feet in diameter and towers 40 meters 130 feet above the arrivals level roadway, higher than all of the other structures in the passenger complex with the exception of the control tower and minaret. In the northeast corner of the mosque plaza, a minaret rises 39 meters 128 feet above the plaza level. A spiral stairway inside the minaret provides access to loudspeakers that broadcast the prayer calls five times daily. There are 5,030 square meters square feet of floor space on the main floor of the mosque and another 765 square meters 8, square feet on the mezzanine floor. A Quranic library off of the main mosque floor has 50 square meters 540 square feet of user space and the same amount for storage space. The library, private offices and lavatories are located along the southeast on southwest walls. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Landscaping. KKIA has more than 500,000 square meters, 5,400,000 square feet of landscaping. Over 225,000 trees, vines, shrubs and ground cover plants were used to landscape the airport site and the interior courtyards. A factor in the landscape design was the limited availability of irrigation water. All of the plants selected for the site are tolerant of heat, wind and dry soil conditions. Wherever possible, plants with a history of successful growth in the Riyadh area or similar environments were selected. Topic: <laughs> Safety. This facility has 5 separate fire houses with several modern firefighting vehicles and trained firefighters. The location also has security equipment and a security force. Topic. Parking facilities Two large three-level garages have been constructed directly in front of the passenger terminals, one on either side of the airport mosque. They are connected to the terminals and to the mosque by pedestrian walkways under the arrivals level roadway. The design capacity of the garages is 11,600 vehicles. The garages are built of cast-in-place concrete, and each covered level is 4 meters 13 feet high. Escalators and elevators are available in these garages, as well as stairways between the different levels. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations Passenger. <laughs> 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 Topic Cargo Topic Expansion In July 2014, German construction company Hochtief won the bid for the airport expansion, which aims at increasing its capacity from 15 million to 25 million and includes construction of a new fifth terminal. The contract was valued at 1.3 billion euros and will be carried out by Hoktif with a 55% stake, along with Indian engineering company Shapurji Palonji Mideast and Saudi Arabian construction company Nadid al Imar. Construction is expected to be completed by May 2019. Terminal 4 is expected to be equipped with required facilities. KKIA has not witnessed any development since its establishment in 1983. The airport will be linked with the city's new metro system, and the GACA has reached an agreement with Riyadh Development Authority for the purpose. The metro system will help passengers reach the city centre quickly and comfortably, adding that spots have been allocated in the project for the metro lines. Saudi Railway Company will construct the main railway station on the southeastern part of the airport to be linked with the terminal through the metro system. Topic. Traffic statistics Topic. Accidents and incidents 
On the 27th of July 2010 at 11:38 local time, Lufthansa Cargo Flight 8460, an MD-11 registered DALCQ, crashed upon landing at the airport and was damaged beyond repair in the ensuing fire. The pilot in command and the first officer, the only two persons on board, were uninjured. On the 4th of November 2017, a missile fired by Yemen rebels in response to the Saudi Arabian-led intervention in Yemen was intercepted by Saudi Air Force near the airport. No damage was reported, but passengers inside the airport's domestic terminal reacted to the detonation. Topic: See also List of things named after Saudi kings